Okay, so first, um, tell me about Extra Credits. Uh, Extra Credits is a uh, short weekly web cartoon that is about uh, what more we can find out of games. Okay, so, uh, and you're, you're the writer, so I guess, tell me a little bit about what informs uh, the episodes of Extra Credits. Um, really a lot of it's just what I'm thinking about. Uh, I, my job is actually, as a consulting designer, I go into companies and uh, talk a lot about uh, how, to get, how to see products actually get shipped, what's going wrong in our industry, what can we do to push the medium and to innovate within the constraints of the corporate structures we have. And then additionally, as a professor, as a teacher, I'm always thinking about how do we convey these things to the upcoming designers because uh, they're really the ones who are going to get to do what we never got to do. They're really going to see this medium become an art form. Um, and so between those two, uh, that's a lot of fodder for, for the episodes. Um, so I guess just if, if you can summarize, what do you think are the biggest issues facing the industry right now? Um, well, it's really interesting because that depends on what you call the industry. Uh, the biggest issue facing what we traditionally consider the industry is the ballooning price of creating a competitive game. Uh, today, the average AAA game costs north of $50 million to create. Uh, that's so large of a number that uh, none of our companies can take a risk of that nature, and without risk you stifle innovation. Um, on the other hand, if you start including things like the social game world, uh, the mobile game world as part of the industry, you've got a whole other diverse set of issues. So, um, Do you think that there is, a lot of the interviews I've done today have been kind of about journalism versus development. Do you think that there is a kind of dissonance between the journalism side of the industry and, and the developers? That's a really interesting question because I do both. Um, I think there is to some degree. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the journalism that we talk about isn't journalism. Um, it, we have, uh, and it's great because a lot of our journalism evolved out of uh, strictly fan writing, which is the best way to go about it. But today, I see time and time again our news stories being the same, whether you go to IGN, Kotaku, or The Escapist, uh, you're seeing the same marketing bullet points or press releases that have been fed to our journalists, rather than our journalists actually talking about the products and talking about the companies and really investigating both what games mean and uh, the larger industry as a, as a whole. Um, and so until I think we go that direction and start considering more what it means to be a journalist rather than just a member of the media, um, I think there will be a disconnect, so yes. Okay. I guess for my next question, I'll go on a completely different route. Um, what will it take for games to be accepted as an art form among the general populace? Is it just time, or is it something, is it something that we need to be doing? I shouldn't say me, but, you know, you guys need to be doing. Well, I mean, first off, we have to accept it as... Uh, something other than a children's pastime. As an industry, we often hide behind the fact that we're just making games. Uh, so long as we use that as our shield, no, if we don't embrace it, no one else ever will. Gotcha. Um, do you consider all kinds of games to be art? Like, would you consider... Um, well, like, for example, I is Tetris a work of art? Tetris is an interesting example, but I'd rather answer that first question, which is, do we consider all types of games? No, the question is, is game is games an artistic medium? Um, as a medium, yes, absolutely. But would we consider all television art? Would we consider all film art? No, of course not. And our blockbusters will always be there, our fun popcorn flicks, and our terrible, just poorly made whatever. Um, so not all games need to be art, and not all good games need to be art. But as a medium, is an artistic medium? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Very cool. Regulated very by the SEC and by the New York Stock Exchange and by the, the NASDAQ. So, um, I, yes, in fact, they are published and yes, they are sent out. I have to have a license in order to write these things.